Tallinn Estonian Tialin, names in other languages is the capital, primate and the most populous city of Estonia. Located in the northern part of the country, on the shore of the Gulf of Finland of the Baltic Sea, it has a population of 434,562. Administratively a part of Harju Markand County, Tallinn is a major financial, industrial, cultural, educational and research centre of Estonia. Tallinn is located 80 kilometers 50 miles south of Helsinki, Finland, 320 kilometers 200 miles west of St. Petersburg, Russia, and 380 kilometers 240 miles east of Stockholm, Sweden. It has close historical ties with these three cities. From the 13th century until the first half of the 20th century, Tallinn was known in most of the world by its historical German name Reval. Tallinn, first mentioned in 1219, received city rights in 1248, but the earliest human settlements date back 5,000 years. The first recorded claim over the land was laid by Denmark in 1219, after a successful raid of Lindenis led by King Valdemar II, followed by a period of alternating Scandinavian and Teutonic rulers. Due to its strategic location, the city became a major trade hub, especially from the 14th to the 16th century, when it grew in importance as part of the Hanseatic League. Tallinn's Old Town is one of the best-preserved medieval cities in Europe and is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Tallinn has the highest number of startups per person among European countries and is a birthplace of many international high-technology companies, including Skype and TransferWise. The city is to house the headquarters of the European Union's IT agency. Providing to the global cyber security it is the home to the NATO Cyber Defence Centre of Excellence. Tallinn is ranked as a global city and has been listed among the top 10 digital cities in the world. The city was a European capital of culture for 2011, along with Turku in Finland. Topic. Etymology Topic. Historical names In 1154, a town called Kulin Qlwn or Karlovan, possibly derivations of Kalivan or Kalivan was put on the world map of the Almoravid by the Arab cartographer Muhammad al-Idrizi, who described it as a small town like a large castle", among the towns of Astlander. It was suggested that Cry may have denoted a predecessor of the modern city. Another possibly one of the earliest name of Tallinn is Kalivan Russian, Kalivan which has been discovered from East Slavic chronicles and may somehow be connected to the Estonian mythical hero Kalev. However, a number of modern historians have considered connecting Al Idrisi place names with Tallinn unfounded and erroneous. Henry of Livonia, in his chronicle, called the town with the name that is also known to have been used up to the 13th century by Scandinavians, Lindenisa or Lindenis in Danish, Lindanas in Swedish, and Ledenes in Old East Slavic. It has been suggested that the archaic Estonian word Linda is similar to the Vodic word Lidna, castle, town. According to this suggestion, Nissa would have the same meaning as Nimi peninsula, producing Kesoniemi, the old Finnish name for the city. Another ancient historical name for Tallinn is Raraveli in Finnish. The Icelandic Inuls saga mentions Tallinn and calls it Rafla, which is probably based on the primitive form of Ravala. This name originated from Latin Revelia, Ravala or Ravala in Estonian, the adjacent ancient name of the surrounding area. After the Danish conquest in 1219, the town became known in the German, Swedish and Danish languages as Reval Latin, Revalia. Reval was in official use in Estonia until 1918. Topic. Modern name The name Tallinn A is Estonian. It is usually thought to be derived from Tani Lin, a, meaning Danish town, Latin, Castrum Danorum, after the Danes built the castle in place of the Estonian stronghold at Lindenis. However, it could also have come from Tali Lina, winter castle or town, or Talu Lina, house, farmstead castle or town. 
The element Lina, like Germanic Berg and Slavic Grad Garod, originally meant fortress, but is used as a suffix in the formation of town names. The previously used official names in German Reval and Russian Revel Revel were replaced after Estonia became independent in 1918. At first, both forms Tallinna and Tallinn were used. The United States Board on Geographic Names adopted the form Tallinn between June 1923 and June 1927. Tallinna in Estonian denotes the genitive case of the name, as in Tallinna Rhesusadam, the port of Tallinn. In Russian, the spelling of the name was changed from Tallinn to Tallinn, Tallinn by the Soviet authorities in the 1950s, and this spelling is still officially sanctioned by the Russian government, while Estonian authorities have been using the spelling Tallinn in Russian language publications since the restoration of independence. The form Tallinn is also used in several other languages in some of the countries that emerged from the former Soviet Union. Due to the Russian spelling, the form Talon is sometimes found in international publications. It is also the official form in Spanish. Other variations of modern spellings include Talina in Finnish, Talina in Latvian, and Talinas in Lithuanian. Topic: History. The first traces of human settlement found in Tallinn city centre by archaeologists are about 5,000 years old. The comb ceramic pottery found on the site dates to about 3000 BCE and corded ware pottery c. 2500 BCE. Around 1050, the first fortress was built on Tallinn Tumpi, as an important port for trade between Russia and Scandinavia. It became a target for the expansion of the Teutonic Knights and the Kingdom of Denmark during the period of Northern Crusades in the beginning of the 13th century when Christianity was forcibly imposed on the local population. Danish rule of Tallinn and Northern Estonia started in 1219. In 1285, Tallinn, then known more widely as Reval, became the northernmost member of the Hanseatic League, a mercantile and military alliance of German-dominated cities in northern Europe. The King of Denmark sold Reval along with other land possessions in northern Estonia to the Teutonic Knights in 1346. Medieval Reval enjoyed a strategic position at the crossroads of trade between Western and Northern Europe and Russia. The city, with a population of about 8,000, was very well fortified with city walls and 66 defense towers. A weather vane, the figure of an old warrior called Old Thomas, was put on top of the spire of the Tallinn Town Hall in 1530. Old Thomas has later become a popular symbol of the city. Already in the early years of the Protestant Reformation the city converted to Lutheranism. In 1561, Reval became a dominion of Sweden. During the Great Northern War, plague-stricken Tallinn along with Swedish Estonia and Livonia capitulated to Imperial Russia in 1710, but the local self-government institutions Magistracy of Reval and Chivalry of Estonia retained their cultural and economical autonomy within Imperial Russia as the Governorate of Estonia. The Magistracy of Reval was abolished in 1889. The 19th century brought industrialization of the city and the port kept its importance. During the last decades of the century Russification measures became stronger. Off the coast of Reval, in June 1908, Tsar Nicholas II and Tsarina Alexandra of Russia, along with their children, met their mutual uncle and aunt, Britain's King Edward VII and Queen Alexandra, an act which was seen as a royal confirmation of the Anglo-Russian Entente of the previous year, and which was the first time a reigning British monarch had visited Russia. On 24 February 1918, the Independence Manifesto was proclaimed in Reval, soon to be Tallinn, followed by Imperial German occupation and a war of independence with Russia. On 2 February 1920, the Tartu Peace Treaty was signed with Soviet Russia, wherein Russia acknowledged the independence of the Estonian Republic. Tallinn became the capital of an independent Estonia. During World War II, Estonia was first occupied by the Red Army and annexed into the USSR in 1940, then occupied by Nazi Germany from 1941 to 1944. When German forces invaded there were about 1,000 remaining Jews in the city of Tallinn, nearly all of whom would die in the Holocaust at the hands of the Nazis before the war's end. 
After the German retreat in 1944, the city was occupied again by the Soviets. After the annexation of Estonia into the USSR, Tallinn became formally the capital city of the Estonian SSR within the Soviet Union. During the 1980 Summer Olympics, the sailing then known as yachting events were held at Parita, northeast of central Tallinn. Many buildings, such as the Tallinn TV Tower, Olympia Hotel, the new main post office building, and the Regatta Center, were built for the Olympics. In August 1991, an independent democratic Estonian state was established and a period of quick development to a modern European capital ensued. Tallinn became the capital of a de facto independent country once again on 20 August 1991. Tallinn has historically consisted of three parts. The Tumpi or Cathedral Hill, which was the seat of the central authority, first the Danish captains, then the Comptures of the Teutonic Order, and Swedish and Russian governors. It was until 1877 a separate town, Dom zu Rival, the residence of the aristocracy. It is today the seat of the Estonian parliament, government, and some embassies and residencies. The old town, which is the old Hanseatic town, the city of the citizens, was not administratively united with Cathedral Hill until the late 19th century. It was the center of the medieval trade on which it grew prosperous. The Estonian town forms a crescent to the south of the old town, where the Estonians came to settle. It was not until the mid-19th century that ethnic Estonians replaced the local Baltic Germans as the majority among the residents of Tallinn. The city of Tallinn has never been razed and pillaged. That was the fate of Tartu, the university town 200 kilometers, 124 miles south, which was pillaged in 1397 by the Teutonic Order. Around 1524 Catholic churches in many towns in Estonia, including Tallinn, were pillaged as part of the reformational fervor. This occurred throughout Europe. Although extensively bombed by Soviet air forces during the later stages of World War II, much of the medieval old town still retains its charm. The Tallinn Old Town including Tumpi, became a UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site in 1997. At the end of the 15th century a new 159 metres 521.65 feet high Gothic spire was built for St. Olaf's Church. Between 1549 and 1625 it may have been the tallest building in the world. After several fires and subsequent periods of rebuilding, its overall height is now 123 metres 403.54 feet. Topic. Geography Tallinn is situated on the southern coast of the Gulf of Finland, in northwestern Estonia. The largest lake in Tallinn is Lake Alamist 9.44 square kilometers 3.6 square miles. It is the main source of the city's drinking water. Lake Haku is the second largest lake within the borders of Tallinn and its area is 1.6 square kilometers, 0.6 square miles. Tallinn does not lie on a major river. The only significant river in Tallinn is Parita River in Parita, a city district counted as a suburb. Historically, the small Harjapi River flowed from Lake Alamist through the town into the sea, but the river was diverted for sewage in the 1930s and has since completely disappeared from the cityscape. References to it still remain in the street names Jo from Joggy, River and Kivasila from Kvizald, Stone Bridge. A limestone cliff runs through the city. It can be seen at Tumpi, Lasnami and Astungu. However, Tumpi is not a part of the cliff, but a separate hill. The highest point in Tallinn, at 64 metres above sea level, is situated in Hiiu, Nom district, in the southwest of the city. The length of the coast is 46 kilometres 29 miles. It comprises three bigger peninsulas, Kapli Peninsula, Paljasara Peninsula and Kakumi Peninsula. The city has a number of public beaches, including those at Parita, Strumi, Kakumi, Haku and Pikakari. Geology 
The geology under the city of Tallinn is made up of rocks and sediments of different composition and age. Youngest are the quaternary deposits. The material of these deposits are till, varved clay, sand, gravel and pebbles that are of glacial, marine and lacustrine origin. Some of the quaternary deposits are valuable as they constitute aquifers or, as in the case of gravels and sands, are used as construction materials. The quaternary deposits are the fill of valleys that are now buried. The buried valleys of Tallinn are carved into older rock likely by ancient rivers to be later modified by glaciers. While the valley fill is made up of quaternary sediments the valley themselves originated from erosion that took place before the quaternary. The substrate into which the buried valleys were carved is made up of hard sedimentary rock of Ediacaran, Cambrian and Ordovician age. Only the upper layer of Ordovician rocks protrudes from the cover of younger deposits cropping out in the Baltic Clint at the coast and at a few places inland. The Ordovician rocks are made up of from top to bottom of a thick layer of limestone and marlstone, then a first layer of argillite followed by first layer of sandstone and siltstone and then another layer of argillite also followed by sandstone and siltstone. In other places of the city hard sedimentary rock is only to be found beneath quaternary sediments at depths reaching as much as 120 metres below sea level. Underlying the sedimentary rock are the rocks of the Fenoscandian craton including gneisses and other metamorphic rocks with volcanic rock protoliths and rapakivi granites. The mentioned rocks are much older than the rest age and do not crop out anywhere in Estonia. Climate Tallinn has a humid continental climate, Köppen climate classification DFB, with warm, mild summers and cold, snowy winters. Winters are cold but mild for its latitude, owing to its coastal location. The average temperature in February, the coldest months, is minus 4.3 degrees Celsius, 24.3 degrees Fahrenheit. During the winter months, temperatures tend to hover close to the freezing mark but mild spells of weather can push temperatures above 0 degrees Celsius 32 degrees Fahrenheit, occasionally reaching above 5 degrees Celsius 41 degrees Fahrenheit, while cold air masses can push temperatures below minus 18 degrees Celsius 0 degrees Fahrenheit, an average of six days a year. Snowfall is common during the winter months. Winters are cloudy and are characterized by low amounts of sunshine, ranging from only 0.5 hours of sunshine per day in December to 4.1 hours in March. At the winter solstice daylight lasts for only 6 hours, spring starts out cool, with freezing temperatures common in March and April but gradually becomes warmer in late May when daytime temperatures average 15.2 degrees Celsius .4 degrees Fahrenheit, although nighttime temperatures still remain cool, averaging minus 1.0 to 5.2 degrees Celsius .2 to .4 degrees Fahrenheit from March to May. Snowfall is common in March and can occur in April. Summers are mild with daytime temperatures hovering around 19 to 21 degrees Celsius, 66 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and nighttime temperatures averaging between 9.6 to 12.7 degrees Celsius, 49.3 to 54.9 degrees Fahrenheit from June to August. The warmest month is usually July with an average of 17.2 degrees Celsius, 63.0 degrees Fahrenheit. Periods of hot weather are rare during the summer months with only 31 days per year where the temperature reaches or exceeds 21.0 degrees Celsius, 69.8 degrees Fahrenheit. During summer, partly cloudy or clear days are common and it is the sunniest season, ranging from 7.4 hours of sunshine in August to 10.1 hours in June although precipitation is higher during these months. As a consequence of its high latitude, at the summer solstice, daylight lasts for more than 18 hours and 30 minutes, fall starts out mild, with a September average of 11.3 degrees Celsius .3 degrees Fahrenheit, and increasingly becomes cooler and cloudier towards the end of November. In the early parts of fall, temperatures commonly reach 15 degrees Celsius 59 degrees Fahrenheit on some days and at least one day above 21 degrees Celsius 70 degrees Fahrenheit in September. 
In the latter months of fall, freezing temperatures become more common and snowfall can occur. Tallinn receives 618 mm in of precipitation annually which is evenly distributed throughout the year although March and April are the driest months, averaging about 30 mm in, while July and August are the wettest months with 74 mm in of precipitation. The average humidity is 81%, ranging from a high of 88% to a low of 69% in May. Tallinn has an average wind speed of 3.5 meters per second, 11 feet per second, with winters being the windiest around 4.0 meters per second, 13 feet per second in January, and summers being the least windy at around 2.9 meters per second, 9.5 feet per second in July and August. Extremes range from minus 31.1 degrees Celsius, minus 24.0 degrees Fahrenheit in January 1940 to 34.3 degrees Celsius, 93.7 degrees Fahrenheit in July 1994. Topic: <laughs> Administrative districts. For local government purposes, Tallinn is subdivided into eight administrative districts Estonian, Linusard, Singular Linnosa. The district governments are city institutions that fulfill, in the territory of their district, the functions assigned to them by Tallinn legislation and statutes. Each district government is managed by an elder, Estonian, Linnosavainam. They are appointed by the city government on the nomination of the mayor and after having heard the opinion of the administrative councils. The function of the administrative councils is to recommend to the city government and commissions of the city council how the districts should be administered. The administrative districts are further divided into subdistricts or neighborhoods Estonian, ASM. Their names and borders are officially defined. There are 84 subdistricts in Tallinn. Topic. Demographics The population of Tallinn on 1 January 2019 was 434,562, according to Eurostat. In 2004, Tallinn had one of the largest number of non EU nationals of all EU member states' capital cities, with Russians forming a significant minority. Approximately 37% belong to the Russian ethnic group, but a majority now hold Estonian citizenship. Ethnic Estonians make up about 55% of the population as of 2014. The official language of Tallinn is Estonian. In 2011, 206,490 50.1% spoke Estonian as their native language and 192,199 46.7% spoke Russian as their native language. Other spoken languages include Ukrainian, Belarusian and Finnish. Topic. Economy Tallinn is the financial and business capital of Estonia. The city has a highly diversified economy with particular strengths in information technology, tourism and logistics. Over half of the Estonian GDP is created in Tallinn. In 2008, the GDP per capita of Tallinn stood at 172% of the Estonian average. Information technology In addition to long-time functions as seaport and capital city, Tallinn has seen development of an information technology sector. In its 13 December 2005, edition, the New York Times characterized Estonia as a sort of Silicon Valley on the Baltic Sea. One of Tallinn's sister cities is the Silicon Valley town of Los Gatos, California. Skype is one of the best known of several Estonian startups originating from Tallinn. Many startups originated from the Soviet era Institute of Cybernetics. 
In recent years, Tallinn has gradually been becoming one of the main IT centers of Europe, with the Cooperative Cyber Defence Centre of Excellence of NATO, the EU Agency for Large-Scale IT Systems and the IT Development Centres of Large Corporations, such as Taliesinera and Kina plus Nagel being based in the city. Smaller startup incubators like Garage 48 and Game Founders have helped to provide support to teams from Estonia and around the world looking for support, development and networking opportunities. Tourism Tallinn receives 4.3 million visitors annually, a figure that has grown steadily over the past decade. Tallinn's Old Town, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a major tourist attraction. Others include the Seaplane Harbour of Estonian Maritime Museum, the Tallinn Zoo, Kadrior Park, and the Estonian Open Air Museum. Most of the visitors come from Europe, though Tallinn has also become increasingly visited by tourists from Russia and the Asia Pacific region. Tallinn Passenger Port is one of the busiest cruise destinations on the Baltic Sea, serving more than 520,000 cruise passengers in 2013. From year 2011, regular cruise turnarounds in cooperation with Tallinn Airport are organized. The Tallinn Card is a time limited ticket to visitors. It allows the holder free use of public transport, free entry to many museums and other places of interest, and discounts or free gifts from shops or restaurants. Energy ST Energia, a large oil shale to energy company, has its headquarters in Tallinn. The city also hosts the headquarters of Ellering, a national electric power transmission system operator and member of ENTSOE, the Estonian natural gas company ST Gas and Energy holding company Alexella Energia, part of Alexella Group. Nord Pool Spot, the largest market for electrical energy in the world, established its local office in Tallinn. Topic: Finance. Tallinn is the financial centre of Estonia and also a strong economic centre in the Scandinavian Baltic region. Many major banks, such as SEB, Svedbank, Nordia, DNB, have their local offices in Tallinn. LHV Bank, an Estonian investment bank, has its corporate headquarters in Tallinn. Two cryptocurrencies exchanges officially recognised by the Estonian government, Coinmetro and DX, exchange have their headquarters in Tallinn. Tallinn Stock Exchange, part of Nasdaq OMX Group, is the only regulated exchange in Estonia. Topic: <laughs> Logistics. Port of Tallinn is one of the biggest ports in the Baltic Sea region. Old City Harbour has been known as a convenient harbour since the 10th century, but nowadays the cargo operations are shifted to Muga Cargo Port and Palduski Southern Port. There is a small fleet of ocean-going trawlers that operate out of Tallinn. Manufacturing <inaudible> <inaudible> sector <inaudible> 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 Tallinn industries include shipbuilding, machine building, metal processing, electronics, textile manufacturing. BLRT Grupp has its headquarters and some subsidiaries in Tallinn. Air Maintenance Estonia and AS Panaviatic Maintenance, both based in Tallinn Airport, provide MRO services for aircraft, largely expanding their operations in recent years. Food processing Livico, the maker of Vanna Tallinn liqueur, strongly associated with the city, is based in Tallinn. The headquarters of Kolev, a confectionery company and part of the industrial conglomerate Orkla Group, is located in Lamia, southeast of Tallinn. Retail The city draws large numbers of shopping tourists from countries within the region. 
When new planned retail developments are completed, Tallinn will have almost 2 square metres of shopping floor space per inhabitant. As Estonia is already ranked third in Europe in terms of shopping centre space per inhabitant, ahead of Sweden and being surpassed only by Norway and Luxembourg, it will further improve the positions of the city as the major centre of shopping. Notable headquarters Among others NATO Cooperative Cyber Defence Centre of Excellence CCDCOE, European Agency for the Operational Management of Large-Scale IT Systems in the Area of Freedom, Security and Justice is based in Tallinn. Skype has its Software Development Centre located in Tallinn. Taliastanera has its IT Development Centre located in Tallinn. Kina Plus Nagel has its IT Centre located in Tallinn. Arvado Financial Solutions has its Global IT Development and Innovation Centre located in Tallinn. Ericsson has one of its biggest production facilities in Europe located in Tallinn, focusing on the production of 4G communication devices. Equina has announced moving the group's financial centre to Tallinn. Education <inaudible> 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 Institutions of higher education and science include Baltic Film and Media School Estonian Academy of Arts Estonian Academy of Security Sciences Estonian Academy of Music and Theatre Estonian Business School Estonian Maritime Academy Estonian Evangelical Lutheran Church Institute of Theology National Institute of Chemical Physics and Biophysics Tallinn University Tallinn University of Technology Culture Topic Museums Tallinn is home to more than 60 museums and galleries most of them are located in Kesklin, central district of the city and cover Tallinn's rich history. One of the most visited historical museums in Tallinn is Estonian History Museum located in Great Guild Hall at Vanillin, the old part of the city. Museum covers Estonia's history from prehistoric times up until the end of the 20th century. It features film and hands-on displays that show how Estonian dwellers lived and survived. Estonian Maritime Museum provides a detailed overview of nation's seafaring past. This museum is also located in city's old town, where it occupies one of Tallinn's former defensive structures, Fat Margaret's Tower. Another historical museum that can be found at city's old town, just behind the town hall is Tallinn City Museum. It covers Tallinn's history from prehistory until 1991, when Estonia regained its independence. Tallinn City Museum owns nine more departments and museums around the city. Tallinn's Museum of Photography that is also located just behind the town hall is one of its branches. It features permanent exhibition that covers 100 years of photography in Estonia. Estonia's Museum of Occupation is yet another historical museum located in Tallinn's central district. It covers 52 years when Estonia was occupied by the Soviet Union and Nazi Germany. Not far from Museum of Occupation located another museum that relates to Soviet occupation of Estonia. KGB Museum that occupies 23rd floor of Sokos Hotel Varu features equipment, uniforms and documents of Russian secret service agents. Tallinn is also home to two major natural science museums, Estonian Museum of Natural History and Estonian Health Care Museum, both are located in Old Town. Estonian Museum of Natural Science features several seasonal and temporary themed exhibitions that provide an overview of wildlife in Estonia and around the world. Estonian Health Care Museum features permanent exhibitions on anatomy and health care. It collects and displays heritage related to the history of medicine in Estonia. Estonia's capital is also home to many art and design museums. 
Estonian Art Museum, country's biggest art museum that was originally based in Kadrior Palace, now consists of four branches, Kumu Art Museum, Kadrior Art Museum, Mikkel Museum and Negalista Museum. Kumu Art Museum features country's largest collection of contemporary and modern art. It also displays Estonian art starting from the early 18th century. Those who are interested in Western European and Russian art may enjoy Kadrior Art Museum collections. Museum is located in Kadrior Palace, a beautiful Baroque building erected by Peter the Great. It stores and displays about 9,000 works of art from the 16th to 20th centuries. Mikkel Museum that is also located in Kadrior Park displays a collection of mainly Western art, ceramics and Chinese porcelain donated by Johannes Mikkel in 1994. Nagalista Museum occupies former St. Nicholas Church, Tallinn and displays collections of historical ecclesiastical art spanning nearly seven centuries from the Middle Ages to post-Reformation art. Those that are interested in design and applied art may enjoy Estonian Museum of Applied Art and Design collection of Estonian contemporary designs. It displays up to 15.000 pieces of work made of textile art, ceramics, porcelain, leather, glass, jewellery, metalwork, furniture and product design. In order to experience a more relaxed, culture-oriented exhibits one may turn to Museum of Estonian Drinking Culture. This museum showcases the historic Lusha and Maishasen distillery as well as the history of Estonian alcohol production. Laulu-Valjak The Estonian Song Festival in Estonian, Laulupadu, is one of the largest choral events in the world, listed by the UNESCO as a masterpiece of the oral and intangible heritage of humanity. It is held every five years in July on the Tallinn Song Festival grounds simultaneously with the Estonian Dance Festival. The joint choir has comprised more than 30,000 singers performing to an audience of 80,000, often referred to as the Singing Nation. The Estonians have one of the biggest collections of folk songs in the world, with written records of about 133,000 folk songs. From 1987, a cycle of mass demonstrations featuring spontaneous singing of national songs and hymns that were strictly forbidden during the years of the Soviet occupation to peacefully resist the illegal oppression. In September 1988, a record 300,000 people, more than a quarter of all Estonians, gathered in Tallinn for a song festival. Tallinn Black Nights Film Festival Tallinn Black Nights Film Festival Estonian, Ud Filma Festival, or POF, is an annual film festival held since 1997 in Tallinn, the capital city of Estonia. POF is the only festival in the Nordic and Baltic region with a FIAPF International Federation of Film Producers Association accreditation for holding an international competition program in the Nordic and Baltic region with 14 other non-specialized festivals, such as Cannes, Berlin, Venice. With over 250 feature films screened each year and over 77,500 attendances 2014, POF is one of the largest film events of Northern Europe and cultural events in Estonia in the winter season. During its 19th edition in 2015 the festival screened more than 600 films, including 250-plus feature-length films from 80 different countries, bringing over 900 screenings to an audience of over 80,000 people as well as over 700 accredited guests and journalists from 50 different countries. In 2010 the festival held the European Film Awards Ceremony in Tallinn. Topic. Cuisine The traditional cuisine of Tallinn is reflecting culinary traditions of the northern Estonia, an important role of the city as a fishing port, as well as the Baltic German influence. Numerous cafes Estonian, Kovic, have played a major role in a social life of the city since the 19th century, as well as bars, especially in the Kesklin district. Marzipan industry in Tallinn has a very long history. 
The production of marzipan has started in the Middle Ages practically simultaneously in Tallinn and Lübeck, both members of the Hanseatic League. In 1695, marzipan was mentioned as a medicine under the designation of Parnes Martius in the price lists of the Tallinn Town Hall Pharmacy. The modern era of marzipan in Tallinn began in 1806, when the Swiss confectioner Lorenz Kaviesel set up his confectionery on Pick Street. In 1864 it was bought and expanded by Georg Stewart and now is known as the Mayersmock Café. In the late 19th century marzipan figurines made by Rival confectioners were supplied to the Russian imperial family, whereas nowadays along with mass production unique projects are also being made, such as a 12 kg scale model of the Estonia Theatre. Among other seafood dishes of Tallinn, the most symbolic example is Vertsikulu. Spicy sprats, pickled with a distinctive set of spices including black pepper, allspice and cloves. The tradition of making vertsikulu originated presumably from city outskirts, where it began in the late 18th or the early 19th century. In 1826 Tallinn merchants exported nearly 40,000 cans of vertsikulu to St. Petersburg, then the capital of the Russian Empire. A closely associated dish is a kilovvalib. A traditional rye bread open sandwich with a thin layer of butter and a layer of vertsikulu as a topping. Boiled egg slices, mayonnaise and culinary herbs are optional extra toppings. Alcoholic beverages produced in the city include beers, vodkas and liqueurs, the latter such as Tallinn, being the most characteristic. Also, the number of craft beer breweries has expanded sharply in Tallinn over the last decade, entering local and regional markets. Topic. Tourism What can arguably be considered to be Tallinn's main attractions are located in the old town of Tallinn divided into a «lower town» and Tumpi Hill which is easily explored on foot. The eastern parts of the city, notably Parita with Parita Convent and Kadrior with Kadrior Palace districts, are also popular destinations, and the Estonian Open Air Museum in Roca al Mare, west of the city, preserves aspects of Estonian rural culture and architecture. Tumpi, Upper Town This area was once an almost separate town, heavily fortified, and has always been the seat of whatever power that has ruled Estonia. The hill occupies an easily defensible site overlooking the surrounding districts. The major attractions are the medieval Tumpi Castle today housing the Estonian Parliament, the Rigikok, the Russian Orthodox Alexander Nevsky Cathedral and the Lutheran St. Mary's Cathedral, also known as the Dome Church Estonian, Tumkirik. All Lynn, Lower Town This area is one of the best preserved medieval towns in Europe and the authorities are continuing its rehabilitation. Major sites include the Town Hall Square Estonian, Rykoja Platz, the City Wall and Towers notably, Fat Margaret, and Keek in de Kock as well as a number of medieval churches, including St. Olaf's, St. Nicholas and the Church of the Holy Ghost. Kadrior Kadrior is 2 km miles east of the city centre and is served by buses and trams. Kadrior Palace, the former palace of Peter the Great, built just after the Great Northern War, now houses the Foreign Art Department of the Art Museum of Estonia. The presidential residence and the surrounding grounds include formal gardens and woodland. The main building of the Art Museum of Estonia, Kumu Estonian, Kunstmuseum, Art Museum, was built in 2006 and lies in Kadrior Park. It houses an encyclopedic collection of Estonian art, including paintings by Karl Timoleon von Neff, Johann Kohler, Eduard Ole, Jan Kort, Konrad Magi, Eduard Wierald, Henrud and Adamson Erik, among others. Parita 
This coastal district is a further 2 km northeast of Kadrior. The marina was built for the Moscow Olympics of 1980, and boats can be hired on the Parita River. 2 km inland are the Botanic Gardens and the Tallinn TV Tower. Music culture Tallinn has a few music venues for live music such as Kulturikatel, Kanala, Tarmagan, Tapa, EKKM, Museum and Nightlife, DM Bar. Yearly festivals like Tallinn Music Week and Stalker Festival take place. Transport City transport The city operates a system of bus 73 lines, tram 4 lines, and trolley bus 4 lines routes to all districts. A flat fare system is used. The ticket system is based on prepaid RFID cards available in kiosks and post offices. In January 2013, Tallinn became the first European capital to offer a fare-free service on buses, trams and trolleybuses within the city limits. This service is available to residents who register with the municipality. Air The Lennart Merry Tallinn Airport is about 4 km 2 miles from Town Hall Square, Rykoja Platz. There is a tram line number, 4 and local bus connection between the airport and the edge of the city centre bus number 2. The nearest railway station Alamist is only 1.5 km 0 .9 miles from the airport. The construction of the new section of the airport began in 2007 and was finished in summer 2008. There has been a helicopter service to and from Helsinki operated by Copterline and taking 18 minutes to cross the Gulf of Finland. The Copterline Tallinn terminal is located adjacent to Linnehall, 5 minutes from the city centre. After a crash near Tallinn in August 2005, service was suspended but restarted in 2008 with a new fleet. The operator cancelled it again in December 2008, on grounds of unprofitability. On 15 February 2010, Copterline filed for bankruptcy, citing inability to keep the company profitable. In 2011 Copterline started again operating the Tallinn-Helsinki flights. In 2016, Copterline Hour filed for bankruptcy and there are no scheduled helicopter flights from Tallinn. Topic. Ferry Several ferry operators, Viking Line, Linda Line, Tallink and Ekero Line, connect Tallinn to Helsinki, Mariam, Stockholm, and St. Petersburg. Passenger lines connect Tallinn to Helsinki 83 km 52 miles north of Tallinn in approximately 2 to 3.5 hours by cruise ferries, Helsinki, Finland Mariam, Alain Stockholm, Swedenst. Petersburg, Russia. Topic: Railroad. The Elron Railway Company operates train services from Tallinn to Tartu, Valga, Turi, Viljandi, Tapa, Narva, Orava, Koidula, and Panu. Buses are also available to all these and various other destinations in Estonia, as well as to St. Petersburg in Russia and Riga, Latvia. The Russian Railways Company operates a daily international sleeper train service between Tallinn, Moscow. Tallinn also has a commuter rail service running from Tallinn's main rail station in two main directions, east and to several western destinations Paskula, Kila, Resipri, Paldiski, and Klugarana. These are electrified lines and are used by the Elron Railroad Company. Stadler Flirt EMU and DMU units are in service since July 2013. The first electrified train service in Tallinn was opened in 1924 from Tallinn to Paskula, a distance of 11.2 km miles. The Rail Baltica project, which will link Tallinn with Warsaw via Latvia and Lithuania, will connect Tallinn with the rest of the European rail network. 
A tunnel has been proposed between Tallinn and Helsinki, though it remains at a planning phase. Roads The Via Baltica motorway part of European route E67 from Helsinki to Prague connects Tallinn to the Lithuanian, Polish border through Latvia. Frequent and affordable long-distance bus routes connect Tallinn with other parts of Estonia. On 9 October 2013, the 320-metre-long Alamist tunnel was first opened. Notable people Topic International Relations Topic Twin Towns, Sister Cities Tallinn participates in international town twinning schemes to foster good international relations. Partners include Image gallery See also Eurovision Song Contest 2002 Legends of Tallinn Revaltop Soviet evacuation of Tallinn 1941 Tallinn Marathon <laughs>